Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good. So once again, Love and Hip Hop is trending on social media and they are being called out for their hypocrisy. So if you guys do not know, Love and Hip Hop Miami is popping right now. And I have been catching up and this season is just insane. Not only the baby daddy drama, but the disrespect to the mamas got me on 10. I, I, I didn't disrespect you. It's time for the dog to go back. That dog, okay? So what's going down is basically this. Shay Johnson from um, Love & Hip Hop Miami, she is beefing right now with Eliza Rain. So if you guys do not remember, Eliza Rain was, I think, like Future's, child, I don't know, ninth baby mama. She got pregnant by Future. Future was not claiming her or the baby. Um, and she just kept going on all these rants on social media. And basically, you know, me and a lot of people just used to clown her like you're you're a bozo because you came in as the ninth baby mama. He didn't take care of these other kids. He wasn't being a good father for these other women and their other kids. Why would you get yourself in a situation to get pregnant? So to me, she was on some bozo shit a few years ago. But I can't lie, since watching her on Love and Hip Hop Miami, um, I've kind of grown a, just a little bit. I've grown a little bit of a soft spot for her. Um, I've gotten to know a little bit more of her backstory. And it seems like she's trying to change her life and do better for her daughters. So I can't be mad at that. It seems like she's finally growing and she's trying to get away from the social media drama. But... As of now, she's getting pulled right back into the drama because Shay Johnson is feeling away. So what went down is that basically Shay is saying that word came back to her that Eliza Rain was talking about her, her baby daddy, her family and things like that. And Shay said she's not here for it, that she has no right to talk about her. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this clip and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Shay posted pictures from her daughter's birthday party. Some woman from Milwaukee where Fable is from popped up claiming that she was engaged to him. Is that her, Tesla? See you there. Are you all that? For sure. Oh, for sure. Oh. For sure, yes, sir. Yeah, he gave it to her at the baby's birthday party. Ooh. Girl, the Tesla that Fable actually bought Shay belongs to this woman. Because word on the street, allegedly, I don't know, but allegedly, you use the turkey baster to insert you know who's sperm into your vagina to have a baby? I mean, Miami Tip did a whole interview talking about how y'all got together to try to set, we don't say his name, Future up. I'm just waiting on Future to go on and release that gag order on you, sweetheart, because you doing too much it is. Talking about y'all was together for two years and you are delusional as hell. He's never, ever claimed you love. So maybe you've been one on, of many on the hit list, you know. He was tapping that because you do got a pretty I felt it. It was a cute pretty I don't do but you got a pretty And you want to be on Love and Hip Hop so bad. I'm coming for you. Welcome to Love and Hip Hop, Little Miss TV. Little Miss Turkey Baster, that's your new nickname. I am coming for you. So first, I want to address this individual I just met during Love and Hip Hop Eliza but I don't know this woman so to sit and watch her literally completely talk about my business with my dude about my family <laughs> and I don't know this woman like she is a complete stranger. I just met her, seen her a handful of times. I did like a quick Instagram with her and you know, it was really quick. I don't know this lady. So for her to sit there and talk about my business is weird. And I actually ran into her at the BET Awards because I heard that she went on Love and Hip Hop talking about me and my family. Hold on mama, let me see that. You can't play with that, okay? And I asked her, you know, what's your problem? I don't know you. Why are you talking about me on Mother Hip Hop? She basically said, I don't know the show. They told me what to say and I said it. I'm like, hmm. So you're, everything you talked about 
pertaining to me and my family was a bunch of BS because they told you to, which makes me believe you desperately want to be on Love and Hip Hop so bad. You're willing to assassinate someone's character and go in on somebody that you completely don't know. You even said some things about Von Shay and she don't even know you. All right, so you guys just saw the video. So now what's even more crazy is that they're currently shooting um, the latest episode of Love and Hip Hop Miami. And Shay decides to go live as they're shooting. And Shay has a turkey baster and she's accusing Eliza Rain of getting pregnant with a turkey baster. She's also calling Eliza Rain ugly, calling her broke hoe. But people are really disturbed because she also called Eliza Rain an orangutan. And if you guys know anything about that, that is very derogatory. So a lot of people are pointing out the hypocrisy of loving hip hop. Y'all are crying about Erica Mena, you know, saying that Spice is a blue haired monkey. But yet and still, Shay Johnson is calling another black woman an orangutan. And that's not cool. So a lot of people are going in right now at the hypocrisy and how, you know, love and hip hop is not really changing. They'll allow something depending on who it is versus another cast member. So y'all go ahead and watch this video of Shay Johnson going off. He was just fucking you. That's it. You went ahead and baby with you. So you used a turkey baster. So I got that goddamn turkey baster. Trying to see if I got the turkey baster. Oh, bitch. Can you drive off in your fucking motorcycle? Anyway. This this is how Eliza, 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 whatever, allegedly, whatever her name is, allegedly tricked Future into having a baby with her. She used a turkey baster. She took the sperm out the condom and inserted it into her vagina. Bam, bam, she was pregnant. Now keep in mind, Eliza, Eliza, Eloza, or whatever, Miss Turkey Baster, we're just gonna keep her name cute and sweet, Miss Turkey Baster. She used the Turkey Baster to insert her vagina with future sperm and abracadabra. Ta da! Here, here go the ugly right here. Future said the bitch is ugly as. Let me get out of here so I can get to this punk ass. Here go your pre. There go your Turkey Baster, ho. Yo ho, there go your turkey. You still hey, come up in here, come up in here. You look like Skeletor. Miss Turkey Baser, you look like Skeletor. Look at this ugly oh, I can see why Future One never claiming that baby or her mother. Future claimed everybody but this Look at her, oh my God. Ugly And she got a botched BBL. Now I ain't turning shit off. Got a botched BBL. Look at your One cheek is leaning. One cheek leaning. Your little ugly and orangutan looking. Let's go. Get that hoe. I ain't getting off live. Cause word on the street is future made sure you wasn't get monthly. That child that you tried to put on him didn't work. Allegedly didn't work. So this is what you need right here. Use this good old turkey baster. To insert into your vagina for the next victim that you're trying to trap with a baby. She got to trap just to have a baby. You get at the house with our baby. Where your at? Future never claimed you. He called you ugly every chance he get. He told you to have a fucking abortion, hoe. On top of that, you all up in my business when you got and promise. Future don't even want to see that baby. I wouldn't want to see the motherfucker either. Look at how you look. Skeletor looking Miss Turkey Baser, that's her name because that's what she does to try to trick have a baby and it actually work with future. Future, what you doing by the way? Put a gag order on this hoe. Put a gag order on this hoe, future. Put a gag order on this hoe. This is what she used. Fuck out of here. I ain't I ain't getting off live. I ain't getting off. Let me out of here so I can drag this. Then I'll get off live. No, I don't trust y'all. We on love and hip hop right now filming. And they want me to get off because I'm blasting this bitch with her turkey basting astic. Hey, here you go. Here you go. That this broke bitch can't afford. She showed up in the Fashion Nova outfit that was $39.95. Let alone her vagina is $59.95 to hit that puss puss. And y'all better be careful because she got the... Look, I can gave her her turkey baster for her next victim. What's up, producer? 
You want me to call you back? Okay. This is my baby daddy. The hell he want? He probably trying to talk crazy too. I don't care. Yes, baby daddy, I'm on live. Love you. I'll call you back, okay? Love you. I don't got time for that. Just trying to calm me down. Fuck that. This whole want a problem, let's bring it. This is Love and Hip Hop, ho. We want to be on Love and Hip Hop. So, do you know this girl been trying to be on Love and Hip Hop since day one? Love and Hip Hop Miami? But for you to sit on Love and Hip Hop and talk about my dude and talk about some random, one of his many random that's bitter and can't get over him, using my name for clout, bitch. Use my name for clout to get an interview. I was engaged to him. How you engaged to a nigga that's been down here for seven, eight months? Like, there's no way there's nobody out there claiming this man when he been down here with me. If you claiming a nigga that been down here with me for that long, you delusional and you need to be in the institution with fucking Miss Turkey Faces. <laughs> Stop playing with me. You play with my daughter. You play with my dude. You play with my name or my brand. I'm coming for you. I don't know why she ain't take her gift. I'm just gonna mail it to her in the mail. Future didn't want you. Future didn't want the baby. And you ain't get no money when you tried to file child support, allegedly. Like, stop playing. You wanted to come on Love and Hip Hop to try to have a name? Here you go. Welcome to my I don't know why y'all calling me. Who the... This my producer. My producer calling me to talk some shit. What, girl? I'm on live. I'm on live on my other phone. In my $100,000 car. All right, so you guys just heard Shay Johnson's rant. Um, and for me, I don't agree with it. I don't even know why Shay's so turned up. I've met Shay several times. She's really cool. You know, she's like a really cool girl. Every time I met her, it's been nothing but love and respect. So I'm not understanding, like, why she's so turned up and angry. I feel like she's kind of playing it up for the cameras. And another thing, I remember, like, when Shay first came on Love & Hip Hop and people would clown her on social media, they would always have the... I don't know if y'all used to watch the TV show Arthur, but there's a character on there called Muffy, and she's a monkey character. And people would say that Shay looks like this character. And I used to think that was so disgusting to compare a black woman, you know what I'm saying, to a monkey. So I never liked that meme. But people used to compare it to that all the time, and I'm sure that was very hurtful to her. So then why would you, in turn, call another black woman a orangutan? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I get it. You know, she's mad, she's angry, she's ranting. But there is some hypocrisy there. If we're going to say that it's bad for Erica Mena to do it, it should be bad for everyone. But like I've said, love and hip-hop is nothing but a big ball of hypocrisy anyways. Because for them to get mad about the blue monkey situation, but then you have women saying all types of derogatory shit to each other throughout the years on love and hip-hop. This is nothing new. So they definitely pick and choose what they allow to fly. And the thing is, Eliza Rain is a really pretty girl. I think both her and Shay are both very, very pretty. And so they kind of look a little bit similar. So for Shay to be trying to go in on her features and talk about her is kind of silly because, again, they're both very pretty women. So I think it's kind of sad that she's going in on her and calling her an orangutan. I think Shay needs to simmer down a bit in cases. Um, at this point in time, I wish she had the same smoke for her baby's father. I did not like how he was talking to her mom and the way he would just cuss at the mom and cut the mom off. And he's very, very disrespectful and very, very flippant. And I think she should have, you know, the same type of energy towards him for disrespecting her mom as she has for a stranger for allegedly talking about her mom. But with that being said, I look forward to seeing y'all's comments. How do y'all feel about this drama with Shay? You know, she's going viral right now for these continuous rants against Eliza Rain. Do you think Shay is wrong for calling Eliza Rain an orangutan? And then also, do you think that Love and Hip Hop is, you know, hypocritical because they had this whole song and dance with Erica Mena. They even had an after show talking about colorism and featureism and all that stuff only for another cast member to do the same thing. So how do y'all feel about this? Let me know down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.